morning, Keisha. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. So the question is for you, what's something that you really like about your life right now that you couldn't even imagine years ago? Um, I like that I'm in school right now and it was really difficult for me to get to this point. Mm -hmm. uh, being an immigrant to, to this country, it's really difficult to assimilate into the new society as well as get a lot of the opportunities that a lot of people who live here and are residents here mm -hmm. have. So after high school, I wasn't able to go directly into college, but I continue to work hard and continue to look for other ways to get there. And I can happily say that I've graduated with my associates and I'm continuing to go on to get my bachelor's right now. So, yeah. Very well. And what are you studying? I'm studying psychology and I may do a second major in communications. Well, let's say someone's looking at you right now who's currently in the situation you were in before, having a hard time getting into college uh, for whatever reason. What would you have to say to them? Well, I can say I've been there already and it is a really dark point in your life. But as long as you're motivated and you really want to succeed and you really want to continue your education, there's nothing that can stop you if you want to do that. So just continue trying. So never stop trying. That's really the most important part. And your your story is living proof that things can get better. It didn't get better overnight. No. It took a while. Yes. And also the support of like family and friends, it comes a long way. Make like networking is a super important thing. The people that I have as my mentors from high school, um, outside of high school, they continue to push me. And they're the reason that I have so many opportunities I have today and that I continue to network and make relationships with people who can continue to help me and therefore help me, I'm able to help other people. Very well. As far as networking is concerned, was it easy for you to just reach out and start talking and sharing? Or were you more, was it more difficult for you? Well, and if it was, what helped you to become more outspoken and to reach out more? Really, it's knowing that there's other people like you. That's what helps you to, you know, want to share your story, want to reach out to other people because I kept quiet for so long. And in reaching out, I realized that, you know, you do need to ask for help sometimes. It's not such a bad thing to ask for help. And when you do, there's always people there ready to lend a hand. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Nikisha. I appreciate your support. No problem.